here's your little problem. I know. When I hear voices, they might tell me little commandments like, go home, stay here, right? I'm even telling you what they said. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. But, like, they never actually, right, mm -hmm, dealt with anything, like, if someone was lying about their age or something, right, that I would know, right, right. Or what to do if you're at someone's apartment and their daughter tries to have sex with you late at night, right. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck there in the morning, right? <laughs> I've got nowhere else to sleep, right? So in a way, I'm being blackmailed or put against the ropes and just don't know what to do about it, right? But tell the girl the truth, right? About sex and waiting for marriage, right? The truth is, 12 years old or older right, is technically right, capable of having sex, right? Though some people go after younger right, to have sex with them because they're not even ovulating yet. Yeah. You see this a lot on the SCU anyway. I don't know this commonly <laughs> or by my own knowledge right? or because I'm really looking into it. I'm just watching a TV program, idiot. Right? Now, someone's trying to accuse me of doing something one with my stepdaughter and two with the recent person I met for the first time, right? Who told me her age was 37. Well, no voice told me she wasn't. <laughs> Never said that. Never said that. No, <laughs> no. Either. Either, right? Nothing warned me if she wasn't 37. And nobody in the store told me she was at 37. No, I agree. So why would I think she was 15? Right. You do understand how a mental illness works, right? Right. I can't control what the voices are telling me, right? Only if I hear them or not, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Once I start hearing them, right? I'm also not claiming to be clairvoyant or a psychic. Nope. <laughs> None of that. None of that. I am looking for a girlfriend, though, at 53. And guess what the age of consent in my state is? Where it's not statutory rape. 16. Right. If you had a 15-year-old who's working in the store, mm -hmm, who has to be driven there, <laughs> by the way, uh-huh. Seduce me in the sex. I didn't plan on it. I was going to see a movie. <laughs> but. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. There's only one reason I would skip the movie. And. Usually I know what happened. Right. Too, and why I missed the movie. Right. I don't know why I missed the movie. It's like I got temporary amnesia. Right. Now, I've done enough nail jobs to know what happens. Right. And what we talked about. Right. But it's like if we did something else, I don't remember none of that. Right. None of that part. Right. <laughs> so either I was knocked out, like with the record fall, which I do remember that. <laughs> but not all of it. Right. Again. Right. I remember parts of it, like with this encounter. Right. With someone calling herself Michelle. Right. And I don't know what you're talking about. Right. I only responded that I had to see Arctic Dogs that day again. Right. Because I missed the movie I was trying to see that started around three, which is called Harriet, about Harriet Tubman. Or. Mm -hmm. Terminator Dark Fate. One of them started at 3 and one of them started at 310. Right. I got into the salon a little after 2. Right. <laughs> so I could be out at least 10 minutes before 3. Right. I got out 10 minutes before 4 and had to see Arctic Dogs that started at 445. Right. 
It sounds like I remember everything, but why? I know. I missed the movie, right? <laughs> Don't it? <laughs> right, right. So the plan was, I remember what I ate, which was at the Mexican restaurant on Jimmy the Village. Or, I don't remember what I had after that, though. Like, for example, <laughs> but what I ate for dinner later on that night. Right. <laughs> when I got home, right, for example. Right. I don't remember that part. Right. That's just normal memory loss stuff, you know what I mean? Right, right. I couldn't tell you what I ate that day after all that. Right. But I know what I did before all that. You see what I mean? Up to a certain point. Right. That's what I'm talking about. No, no. Someone calls me temporary amnesia like I have with the wreck of the fall. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what happened there. And only my stepbrother or, again, someone on base can tell me more about it if more happened. Right. But not nobody else. Right. Exactly. <laughs> now, if I did get down off the roof and went around to the front and was trying to figure out what to do next, the next thing, I, only thing I could have done is sleep in one of the lounges. Right. Can't do that now. Can't do that now. <laughs> Does that sound logical? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm still trying to think logically while dealing with voices in my head, which is when the mental illness started in 1993. Until then, I wasn't reporting hearing voices or anything of that nature. Right. <laughs> Either. And I got proof of it with Dr. Weinrep because she said I'm psychologically fit for an evil duty. I showed you that before too. Right. <laughs> and again. What are you trying to do? Steal my evidence? <laughs> I know that. Right. You can't do that either. <laughs> or you're just trying to bust me for your paranoia about me. And I'm not really doing nothing wrong. Get it. <laughs> 